Hi, I'm Matt with e Trailer, and today we're going to be talking about the Draw Tight Class 3 Hitch on the back of our 2023 Nissan Murano. This is going to use a 2 inch hitch receiver, and we're going to have this hole on the side. So if you ever need to put a pin through here, you're going to have that ability. And we're going to have some safety chain loops on either side. Now, when I'm putting our S hooks on here, it's going to be an okay fit. It's not going to be great though. It's going to be better if you have anything larger, like a clevis hook. As you can see right here, this is going to give you a lot of rotation, so it's going to fit very nicely on the back of this. Something that makes this hitch stand out from the other ones is going to be this mounting bracket. And that's going to be for if you have any full pole wiring, you'll be able to put a bracket on top of here to hold that wiring. Now we're just going to get a few measurements. And that first one's going to be your rise drop. So if we go from the ground to the top of the opening of the receiver, that's going to be 13 inches. So that should give you an idea if you have a trailer and you need to couple it onto the back of here, if you need to rise or drop it any. And then for our measurement from the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of the bumper on our car, that's going to be a little bit under five inches. So that gives you an idea if you have any accessories, if they're going to be able to fit on here or if they're going to make contact with that bumper. We're also going to have a weight rating of 4,000 pounds for your towing and 600 pounds for your tongue weight. So that is a lot, especially for the Murano. So what I'd recommend doing is checking what your, uh, your vehicle can handle so you don't overload it. Other than that, as far as the install goes, it's a pretty straightforward and easy one. But if you need a hand with it, just stay tuned and we'll show you how to do it. Now to start off for insulation, I have my car lifted today. That's just going to make this a lot easier, and especially it's going to make it a lot easier for you to see what I'm doing. And if you're doing this at home and you're doing this on the ground, I'd recommend just investing in some ramps just so you have a little more area to work with. But now we're going to find where we're going to place our hitch. On the passenger side, we're going to have two threaded holes. That's what we want to line our hitch up with. And then on the driver's side, there's going to be multiple holes. What we want to do is find the three closest holes to the back of our car grab our hitch and then we're going to grab our hardware and that's going to be your m12 bolt and your conical tooth washer line up our hitch with those holes underneath the car and make sure you got a hand on everything and when everything's lined up I'm going to grab that hardware and thread it on. We want to at least get one on place so it can hold it up, hold up our hitch. And once you get this side started, then you can start doing the same thing on all other four spots. Now I'm going to come in with a torque wrench and extender and tighten this down the rest of the way. And you can use the specs on your instructions to tell you how tight you need this to be. Now, if you don't have a torque wrench at home, you can either find one of those on our website or you can rent one out from one of your local shops. And our socket's gonna be a 19 millimeter. That's just a look at the install and some of the features of the Draw Tight Class 3 hitch on the back of our 2023 Nisa Murano. 